This is going to be a review on the Oster brushed stainless steel convection countertop oven that you can pick up at Costco. Model number TSSTTVCG04. Costco item number 1871951. Got the dimensions over there. It has a 60 minute timer, auto off. Oven shuts off when the timer ends. Non-stick baking pan, PTFE and PFOA free, natural ceramic finished offers. Healthier choice for cooking and making cleanup easy. Two rack position for maximum flexibility. It comes with a removable crumb tray. This thing sells for something like, uh, what did I pay for this? Maybe 49 bucks or something. Um, not on sale, but $49. There's a Cuisinart that sells for $69 that has an LED display and buttons to do all your programming. And the reviews that I've read is the Oster, I think it's pronounced Oster, is a much better product. It cooks better, it cooks evenly. Stainless steel exterior, it can hold a 12 inch pizza. When they say convection oven, really all that's in this thing, it's really a toaster oven and it has a fan that's blowing the heat around. So I wouldn't say this is the greatest type of convection oven. It's really just a toaster oven with a fan in it, but having that fan helps the heat circulate better and makes it cook better. So I'm going to do a review of this mainly by cooking some salmon patties. I will tell you this thing is huge. When it is on your countertop, it is massive. It takes up a lot of space. Inside the oven you have a tray that comes out for crumbs, a slide-out tray. You have a slide-out rack that you would use if you were going to be using it for toast only or for bread. You have a slide out pan that you can place on top if you are going to be using this for baking. So you will bake from the top and the bottom. Controls are self-explanatory but you can see warming goes downward, broiling goes downward, toasting Baking goes up and down. Turbo, that turns on the fan, and that is your convection oven. Well, you set it to turbo, you preheat the oven for five to seven minutes, and then you uh, start cooking. Below that, we've got the thermostat for toast or for warming or for setting your temperature. And below that, you've got your timer, where you can set it to stay on, or you can set it for whichever time you want. But you notice it says that you need to turn it to 20 before you go to your desired time to activate the timing system the right way. So I'm going to get the salmon patties and test this thing out. I'm not too thrilled that the power cord is only about a foot and a half, two feet long at the most. Some things to consider, this unit gets extremely hot. It is brushed aluminum. You're going to have a lot of heat on the outside. You can't put paper on this. You can't rest things on it like you can a microwave. You can't really have this close to a wall because you're going to have a massive amount of heat coming off of this unit. So make sure you've got this located right next to an outlet, again, because the power cord is extremely short. And make sure you don't have it on your counter anywhere near plastic or paper or anything that can catch on fire. And there are some vents on the top of this guy for the heat to pop out of. And there are vents coming up. There are vents on the side, on the left, on the right, and probably on the back. So you need to put this in a place where you are not going to set your house on fire. Here are the salmon patties. I've got the unit set to 400 degrees. I'm going to put it to turbo. And I think I'm just going to let it bake. And then I will uh, come back and show you what it looks like as it cooks. The heat is on the top and the bottom. I'm doing the baking now. The salmon patties are frozen. I've got it on turbo. I don't hear the fan, so the convection oven turbo fan part is extremely quiet. All I hear is the ticking, ticking of the timer. If you like my videos, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If you want to go to my channel page and click on the support button and leave me a donation, 
to help me with my videos or the products I buy or to show your appreciation, that would be more than welcome. And feel free to link this to any website you want to. Make sure you watch all my other videos. They are pretty awesome. I have some really good stuff on there. I just heard a clicking sound, so I'm assuming that it is at 400 degrees. It doesn't appear to have a button or a light that shows when the preset is at the right temperature. But the burners did go off and I did hear a loud sound in there, a little clicking sound. So I'm going to shut this video off for a minute. I plugged in a 14 gauge extension cord that's getting really hot and I don't want to start a fire, so hold on. You should never use an extension cord when you are dealing with a, an appliance like this. That's why they give you a short cord. But I'm doing this uh, strictly for the video, taking a big risk. I'm feeling the extension cord, making sure it doesn't get too hot but it is warming, it's pulling a massive amount of current. You can see everything's cooking, it looks really good. The, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to try not to touch the edge so I don't burn myself. You can see what it looks like. It's cooking away, it's bubbling, it's boiling, it's baking. I'm happy so far. Putting my hand on the top by the air vent there is a good amount of heat coming out of there, so you don't want to have this with a, ca with a cabinet right above it. You don't want a cabinet right above if you're going to have uh, these air vents hitting them. The side vents, very little heat coming from there, very little heat coming from the left or the right, uh, or the back. But when you touch the metal, when you touch any of this outside case, you will burn your hand very badly. So you cannot have anything near the metal and you definitely need to be wearing gloves. Let me open this up. Looks absolutely beautiful. The door kind of slams down. The hinge does not. As you heard, uh, hold it up. That is the final result. I will take it out of the oven. Comments that I can make are Again, I wish it had a long power cord. This is going to be very difficult for me because I cannot plug this in right next to an outlet. I know I did not preheat the oven like you were supposed to. And I know that I did not get it up to the right temperature. And I wanted this to be crispy and not soft, even though salmon should be soft. But that's what it looks like after about 10 minutes of cooking. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's very easy to use. Obviously, it's going to be really easy to clean with just one tray. Extremely quiet. I know these were frozen. I'm sorry I'm speaking with my mouth full. I know these were frozen when I started cooking them. And so really not giving it enough time to cook under frost and get up to temperature. But they taste, they taste good. I'm happy with the oven. I really can't say if I'm going to keep it because I need to clean my countertop. If you have a clean countertop and you've got a place to put this, like I should, right next to an outlet, then this is a very good product. Quiet, efficient, timer works, easy to clean, easy to uh, wipe down the outside. Again, like all toaster ovens, you could set something on fire if it's too close, and you could burn yourself very badly if you touch the outside while it is cooking. But other than that, it's a good product, and I recommend it. So please do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, leave your comments if you want to. Happy comments only, and uh, good luck cooking. Again, you can buy this almost anywhere.